Hi, my name is Antonio Ginata. I'm the policy director here at Columbia Legal Services. CLS is a statewide nonprofit legal aid program that does not accept government funding. Because we don't accept government funding, we can do things like represent people who are incarcerated or people regardless of their immigration status. We can undertake class actions. And most importantly for this video, we can work to change the laws. That's what I try to do as the policy director here. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about a few of our legislative priorities for this upcoming 2023 legislative session. First, it's important to know that there are about a quarter of a million people who are living in Washington state who do not have federally recognized immigration status. The vast majority of them are working age. And for most of them, this is home. Three out of five of them have lived in the United States for over 10 years. Any reasonable federal government should have long ago updated our outdated and unfair immigration system. But in light of that inaction, I think Washington can still lead the way. That's why I'm proud that CLS is supporting two separate bills that will promote immigrant equity in Washington. First, we're asking for the creation of a wage replacement program. That would be a program that would provide unemployment-like benefits to workers in Washington who aren't eligible for regular unemployment insurance due to their immigration status. Second, we're looking to create health equity for immigrants. For low-income immigrants, many of them are not eligible for Medicaid. This would be a program that would create a health care system that would work regardless of a person's immigration status. With the passage of these two bills, Washington will continue to cement its commitment to the dignity of Washington residents, of our neighbors, of our colleagues, of our coworkers, regardless of immigration status. Second, we'll be building on our progress related to the issue of legal financial obligations. Legal financial obligations, LFOs, they're the fines and fees, they're the monetary sanctions that are charged on people after they face a criminal conviction. We've reformed some of them in the past, and we think next year is a good opportunity to take away two more LFOs, two more fees that are being charged upon people who are unable to pay them. We think that there is a insidious connection between the funding of local government functions, vital functions, and the collection of LFOs. Right now, judicial officers and our local governments are being forced to support the collection of LFOs because they fund government functions. We think that connection needs to stop. And finally, we're looking to pass a bill to protect renters from unreasonable and unfair claims for damages on rental units. Rental debt can be incredibly devastating to low-income renters. It can lead to housing instability. So we are pushing legislators to create a fairer system so that it is the rules are clear and fair as to what a landlord needs to prove before they can charge and claim damages to a rental unit. So those are our legislative priorities. They're only a small part of the incredible and important advocacy that's happening in Olympia starting on January 9th. You can follow along with us by going to our website, see our legislative updates throughout session. You can join our email list, or you can follow Columbia Legal Services on our social media. So here's to a productive session that will extend equity and justice for even more Washingtonians. Thank you so much.